Hello everyone, my name is Pangoduck. Welcome to a new series, Rise of Industry. I don't know how long this series is going to be. I was playing a bit of this game over Christmas and I want to play some more. So here we are. It's mostly a game about logistics and supply and demand. You'll see if we'll get into it if you haven't seen it before. It's not, it's honestly, it's not really that complicated once you understand the fundamentals, which I will go over hopefully without being too boring. So let's get on with it. I'm going to go career, which is just like a general game. I'm going to go UK town name generator, as I am in from the UK. Normal amount of AI players. Um, their AI name. I know that. AI names can be from 1930. That's fine. Medium map size. That's fine. We'll drive on the left like the heathens in the UK. And we don't need an assistant. Terrain, you can edit multiple things. I'm going to go, well, basically what I had last time I played. Um, lots of curvature in rivers, because I like that. Uh, one coast, so one coastline on the map. Everything else pretty much standard and medium, and the most rivers possible, three rivers. Difficulty, we will just leave it normal. All of this is normal. You're allowed to terraform. Upkeep is, look, everything is just normal, okay? There's traffic. You shall see. So let's play. And while it's loading, I'll talk a little bit more about what I'm going to do, because it does take a little while to load. I am not going to be playing super optimally. Well, first of all, let me make it clear. I am not a pro player. Oh, my goodness. Not everything will be super optimized. Wow, that loaded quicker than I thought it would. Uh, not everything will be super efficient, although, you know, we'll try a bit. But mostly, we're just going to be playing for fun. And the challenge, well, quote-unquote challenge that I'm going for, is I am going to find the smallest town on the map or one of the smallest and i'm just gonna try and make that town grow so first of all let's talk about well let's just look at ashbourne for a moment i will go up here to the map layers i'm gonna put on building names shop names resource names do i want logistics names on no probably not for now okay so as you can see in ashbourne there are three shops farmer's market hardware store and clothing store currently and if i click on one you can see what they need. Wheat, hops, milk, olives, cocoa, vegetables, chicken meat, and berries is what the farmer's market needs. And if I open up the hardware store, similar kind of thing, but, you know, they need leather and wood and coal, etc. And clothing store needs things you would expect. So, as well as the actual product they need, which changes by town and by shop, also, you can see how much they need. So, 8 per 15 days. Let's just talk in months in general. Because a fair few products take a month, 30 days to produce. So, that's actually 16 every month. Okay. That's fine. You can see how much money uh, each thing is kind of worth as well. Let's not go any deeper than that for the moment. Let's just leave it there. The city itself currently stagnating obviously that will grow if we provide the goods that the stores need because then you know residents will get what they want the population will increase they'll get more shops um and then you'll be able to upgrade the town and so on and so on so learn by doing let's just let's just see we have wolverhampton that looks kind of small i'd kind of like to be by the coast if i could maybe not though how many how many people were in wolverhampton 59,000. Okay, let's see what else we have. Dean Y. 51,000. Dean Y? Dean We? God, I hope it's not that one because I don't even know how to say that. But it looks like it will be. 60,000. Richborough, 58. And Hartlepool, 85. Okay. So obviously, this is only a medium map, so there aren't that many. I kind of want to do Wolverhampton down here by the coast. Should I do that anyway? I mean, it's still pretty small. Look, we're doing... Well, actually, <laughs> let's be a bit cheeky and see what they want. <laughs> they want potatoes, apples, sugar, vegetables. Oh, I mean, we can do that. Beef. The uh, when, when someone wants beef, I like it if they want milk as well. Because obviously, if you're producing cows, you get milk. <laughs> and there's nothing to do with it if, if no one wants it here in this region. Um, obviously later you can expand and go in multiple towns and regions. Although, for our goal in this game, we are going to be looking to just expand one town. Okay, Dean Wee. We're calling it Dean Wee. I don't care if it's not how it's said, that's what we're doing. Can you persuade me? Oh, that's tempting. They want chickens and eggs. 
Um, they do want mutton, beef. What about the hardware store? Wood, cotton, sugar. Oh, maybe we should do Dean Wee. Because it's got the silly name and because it's the smallest. Okay. Let's do that. So I'll tell you what then. We are going to set up chickens. First of all. So. There is a research tree. Well, first of all, we do have to place our headquarters in any region. So you know what? We're going to go ahead and put our headquarters down. So let's do that. As you can see, most things are grayed out, but we can go administrative buildings and headquarters, which we can just stick down anywhere we want. We'll slap it there. And now, if we go into the tech tree, you have three free unlocks at the start, and then everything else takes monthly investment and then time to research. Because, obviously. And then over, you can actually unlock the ability to put more money into it to research faster, but obviously, that's not going to be on the agenda for us. Now, you have a couple of things by default, which we need, like water. We're probably going to feed wheat to the chickens. Do we need... Do they need wheat? They do. Excellent. So, we're going to need wheat. And we're going to need chickens. So, let's grab wheat as one of our three. Now, there's all matter of things. Matter? All manner of things. So, obviously, produce, livestock... So we'll grab chickens. Later we'll be able to get fried chicken, chicken soup. Things like that. We'll leave everything else for now. And then drinks. There's carpentry to go more advanced with the wood. We can provide wood by default. Liquor. So we could actually turn our wheat into grain whiskey. If we research that. Okay. And so on and so on. I won't sit here and go through all of this. If you're going to play it, you can look through. Decide what you want. In auxiliary, you have upgrades. So... The ability to put down extra fields in each farm, for example. More storage on farms. Things like that. Logistics, I definitely want better roads. We're only going to have dirt roads in the beginning unless I grab this. But do I want to? Do I want to grab it now or do I want to grab something else? So we're going to be providing wheat, chickens and eggs in the beginning. Do I want to grab like hops or vegetables or or something else to provide immediately probably not just do those three i could do vegetables couldn't i maybe i will maybe i will we're obviously we're gonna do wood as well because we have that already and send wood to the hardware store but maybe i should grab vegetables because they want seven of those like obviously these only want five each per day which doesn't per day for 15 days whereas this one's seven so we can get a bit more out of it let's do vegetables screw it we'll do vegetables okay unlocked and now we'll queue up some stuff so i'll tell you what we'll grab the roads immediately and then i think we'll queue up probably to get more fields at the moment, we're not using plantations or orchards. We're just using crop fields, wheat and vegetables, and livestock. So let's maybe actually go down that route, one after the other. We're probably, well, actually saying that, before we can do that, we will need potentially extra water. Because obviously, all of these things need water. The chickens need water to drink, and the crops need water to grow. So maybe I'll grab the extra coastal harvesters first, which is going to be the water, so that we can have extra water production per facility, if that makes sense. And then we'll grab the fields. So there's quite a bit of research there to do. Um, in fact, I'm tempted to do that before the roads, just to give us a bit more flexibility. Let's do that. Obviously, I'm just kind of doing this from the hip. Let's be clear. <laughs> um, so let's do that. One other thing to talk about, which I'm not going to... Well, two things, actually, now I see that. Air purifiers. There is pollution. The things we've selected to do will not produce pollution, so we don't need to worry about it too much. But if we were going to do something a little more industrial, we would have to build air purifiers and, and stuff to keep pollution down because that affects growth and the land and all sorts. Um, what was the other thing I was going to talk about that I've completely forgotten? Oh, yes, we can also build warehouses. So we can bring all the goods to the warehouse and then 
distribute them out to either other warehouses or to shops from the warehouse. Or if we put the warehouse near the city, then the stuff in, the, in that range will automatically sell. We can send them to like other warehouses in other regions to help distribution, etc. Now, the reason I'm telling you about this now instead of when I do it is I'm not going to do it immediately because I don't want to pay extra upkeep for a warehouse. We're just going to manually say, right, take all the chicken there, take all the eggs there. Okay, I swear we'll do something very soon. <laughs> Last thing I want to say before I start, I don't want to oversupply any of these because that will decrease the price and the demand. So I kind of want to supply a little bit under the demand is my basic plan. Now, again, I'm not a super expert, but I think that's what I want to be doing. So, you know, there's 14 eggs per month, seven per 50 days, so 14 per 30 days. I want to supply a little under that. I think I'm right in saying, as we will see when we do it, which I can't at the moment without putting it down, I think the chickens produce like one one chicken, which is like ton of chicken as it really is, but let's say just one chicken per field. So let's just talk about one one livestock field, okay? You get one chicken every 30 days, I believe, and you get two eggs per livestock field. Meaning... We're going to get more eggs than chicken. So I want to give as much chicken as possible, but I don't really want to oversupply the eggs. Now, maybe we may find out or someone may tell me in the comments it's worth oversupplying the eggs and getting the price down to supply more chicken because the chicken is worth more. Not sure. For the moment, we're going to just try and not supply more than 14 eggs per month. So... How many fields? A livestock farm will have three fields at the beginning, meaning six eggs per month, yeah? Because three fields, two eggs from each a month, six eggs. So we can have two chicken farms in the beginning. That's probably what we're going to do. So we're only going to be providing six chicken a month and 12 eggs. So we're going to be quite under the chicken demand. Quite a long way, but only slightly under on the eggs. But that's the start plan. We're going to learn as we go. We'll figure it out. So, enough dilly-dallying. Let's put down some stuff, shall we? Where should we do it? I want to be near the water because we need water. So, maybe we put down the water first. How much water do we need? Well, hang on, because this involves lots of thinking ahead. And since I'm recording and don't have 10 hours to sit down and figure it out, let's just put stuff down. Where do we want to do the chicken? Well, maybe we'll do the chicken farms up here. Is that going to be enough room for expandability? Hmm. No, I'll tell you what. We'll do them. We'll do them actually quite close to the road. I'm going to give myself a little bit of room so that later we can potentially build one-way systems. Okay. Here we go. We're going to place down our three livestock fields as such. And as you can see... We need one water for every field, if we look here. One water for every field and one wheat for every field. And then the chickens will take 30 days to grow. And then you will get one chicken per field, two eggs per field, as I said. Perfect. Okay. So, we've already decided we're going to do two. So let's stick another one down in a very similar layout, which is getting a little bit close to town, actually. But I've decided now, haven't I? We can always move it later. Okay, first thing we do is connect it up, connect that up, and I'm also going to build roads around it, I think. Now, I know I can get technology to add two more fields to each farm, and I'm going to put them behind, so I'm going to do the road long enough to compensate. So how long is a field? One, two, three, four, five, six. So another field would be one, two, three, four, five, six. So the road will be there. Makes sense? So now I've got room to chuck on two more fields when the time comes. I am actually, I have done that really close to the town. You know what? It's fine. I'm sure the town will figure it out, but we're not going any closer than that. So now that we have that, we now need water and um, crops. We need wheat. So we need six wheat per month. 
And I think it's going to be a very similar thing where the wheat gives you one wheat every month. Or is it 15 days? Let's find out. Where are we going to put this? Should we just put it directly behind? I think we might. Now, there is an argument to say, well, you're going to have more chicken farms later and you should put them behind. But you know what? We're going to do it here like this. My only slight concern is... Are we going to have enough room for expansion? Yeah. We can terraform this later. Yeah, no, it's fine. So we're going to do a similar thing. We're going to put down our crop fields. It is... Oh, no, you get two. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Of course, you get two wheat every 30 days from each field. So we have enough here from one farm to feed the chickens. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. Let's put in a road. Now, these fields... Bear in mind, we're going to have extra, are only four deep. So, one, two, three, four. So, we're going to want the road to be about there. Oh, but we need to terraform. Should we terraform? It's a little bit expensive, but honestly, that's going to annoy me. Let's do it now. Um, terraforming, flatten. It's going to be expensive. I'm doing it. It's literally, it's literally over half a million. Look how much money we've got, but I'm left. 8.3 million. Honestly, it'll be fine. It's a waste of money, but it'll be fine. So, one, two... Three, four. That's where that field will go. Beautiful. Okay, lastly then we need water. So, we need water for all of these fields. So, six there. And water for all of these fields. So, we need nine water total right now. But hold on, before we decide how much water we need, we're also going to produce some extra wheat to sell. So they want 30 every month. So what? What? What am I saying? 14. They want 14 every month. So we can do a bit. Because this produces um six. So we could actually do two more crop farms and produce 12 and just sell it all. That said, I want my water to be efficient. I don't want waste. How much water would we produce? You get three harvesters, and I think it's one every 15 days. So we're going to get six water out of one per month in the beginning. And we need how much water per month right now? Nine. So I'm tempted just to set up in the beginning, while we get stuff figured out, one extra crop farm just for selling so that we have a nice, neat 12 water requirement. And then we can just do two water siphons and get 12. Probably afterwards, what we'll do... Well, let's set this up now, and then we'll probably add an extra wheat farm and um, and vegetable farm. And then that will get us... You know, we'll use some more. I hope this makes sense. Probably not. Probably not. So, for the moment, I'm going to put down another wheat farm. Now, this is not supplying the chickens, so I might put it somewhere else. Maybe even all the way over here. How do I want to do this with the roads? Uh, we'll probably do a separate road out. You know? I might even do it from here. I'm going to do a separate road out like this. And we're going to... Probably... In fact, I would... I do want my water up here, though. So I don't want it to be too far away. So I'll tell you what. Here we go. There's one field. And we need three deep. So... One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then there. That should work out. Is that right? Is that right? My crop farm. Yeah, it is right. Good. <laughs> so then we can fit in two more farms. So there we go. Also, you can change what's made here. So actually, it's... Oh, it is on wheat. We could set it to vegetables. Hopefully that's set to wheat as well. It is. Good stuff. Let me just do this road then. Okay. Let's set up some water. We need 12 water. And based on that, actually, I'm probably going to put a road here. Because the water is going to be needing to connect. So, let's put down oh, a water siphon. Alright. Which is in gatherers. I'm not going to be super precise about it. Obviously, normally, you would potentially put a load of planning in. But anyway. And then we put down three 
coastal water siphons. Lovely. Which I'm just going to check. Yeah, 15 days is the harvesting time. So we will get three every 15 days, which means six a month. Which is just lovely. Let's connect these up with a road. And then finally, let's connect them to here. Okay, so now we have all of this stuff sorted out, I believe. Unless I've messed up. So, we are going to get... Oh, no, wait, I need another siphon, don't I? <laughs> That's only six. Well, I'll tell you what, this can be the siphon for the crops. So here's what I'm going to do. I've got overview there. I'm going to go destinations. Choose destination. I'm going to go crop farm one. And then I'm going to choose my second destination. Crop farm two. And now it will just split all of its output between these two. So it's obviously going to do three water in 15 days, which it will distribute. And then in the next 15 days, another three water. And then so that's six a month. Obviously, these wheat fields take a month to grow. At the very beginning, obviously, some wheat fields will be growing whilst others are still waiting for water. But over time, it will equalize to the point where it's producing six water a month. And these two crop farms between them need six water a month because there's six fields makes sense and now we just need six more water a month for the chickens so let's do that as well we'll, we'll put it a bit further down um which i'm not going to do super mathematically which i should do really in the sake of efficiency but let's put that down that'll do um gatherers would help if you go click off it you can come back on it and hit add harvester rotate that so it's going on the water We'll do the same thing. Connect it up with a good old road. There we go. Oh, yeah. And a road so we can actually leave and not be in an endless cycle of water producing. So, destination, livestock farm one, livestock farm two. Right, now we just need to set up the other destinations. So, firstly, this crop farm. We're just selling all of this wheat. So, we're going to go farmer's market and that's it. It's going to get its water from here. It's going to produce wheat. It's going to go sell it at the farmer's market. That is it. We do have other tabs. None of them really matter at the moment. Okay, this crop farm though. Why have I opened that one? You are going to be providing your six wheat a month. Because each field does two. To these six livestock fields in these two farms. So that will happen there. And finally, we have the livestock farms themselves. Which are going to be... Let's just check I'm not being like crazy. There is chicken and, yeah, and eggs. Okay. We are going to go on destination. So we've got the chicken. This is livestock farm one. Chicken will go to the farmer's market. And then we click here and change this to the eggs. Which will also go to the farmer's market. Do the same thing here. Farmer's market. Eggs. Farmer's market. And then right. All of that is now set up. Done. For the moment. <laughs> However... As we've said, we've got other things we want to set up as well. Even like straight away. We might as well. We've got the money. So, we've done... I am like not cracking up, am I? We did vegetables. We did do vegetables. Good. How many vegetables? We could also do a fair few vegetables. But for the moment, just to keep the water balance as it is, I'm going to do one vegetable and one extra wheat. So that's another six fields and therefore just one more water siphon. I don't want them to be any waste. Not at the moment. Um, you could do more farms and waste water and like store it in a warehouse or whatever until you could do some other stuff with it. But um, that that just upsets me on, on many levels. I guess this should be... Ah, screw it. Let's have it facing the other way. Why the heck not? Takes up the same amount of space. Doesn't really matter. Okay, wheat. Good. I'll do the destination while I'm here. Okay, let's set up another kind of box. I know it's pretty boring, my layout, but there you go. Um, This is really in the way. I, w <laughs> I want to do my other... F I'll tell you what, I'll just do the vegetables up here for now. Look, this is a learning process. So it's going to be another crop farm, and this is just going to do um, vegetables. But we'll obviously change it to vegetables. When we're done. So vegetables, set. There we go. It's now a vegetable. Well, not a vegetable. A vegetable crop farm. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Good. Right, that's ready for expansion. And just for a laugh, we'll do our other water siphon down here. If we can just squeeze it in. That'll be okay. Just about squeeze in some harvesters there. I didn't do the um, 
What? Place the road. Don't be like that. There we go. Okay, I didn't do the vegetable destination, did I? Let's do the vegetable destination. So it's not just doing nothing. We did do that one. And now we can do the water to there. And there. The last thing I'm going to do, just for my own organization, is I'm going to change the names of these to vegetable... Ah, typing. Typing while recording. Vegetable farm one. Um... I'm going to call this wheat farm one. And that wheat farm two. Because I'm going to call this um, wheat chicken farm. Is that how I want to do it? Hmm. Okay, no, I'll call it chicken wheat farm. And then we know that that without having to do any further investigation that that is just supplying the chickens. We'll also call this chicken chicken farm in case we get other animals later. Just, you know, just so at a glance we can remember what things are. And obviously water is water, so that's fine. Okay. The very last thing before we actually unpause and play the game for a short time before I end the episode, which has been basically all about setting up. We're just going to do a bit of a wood. So hardware store. Okay. 14 every 30 days for that as well. What am I doing? What am I doing? Gatherers? Lumberyard. That's the one. Okay, let's put it a little bit... Let's not crowd the town out completely, actually. In fact, let's put it over here. That'll be fine. Um, How, like, crazy do I want to be about my... Ah, it's fine. We'll, we'll crush some trees. It's fine. I think each gatherer just selects, like, um... Three trees in the area to be its trees, I believe. Could be wrong. Um, I don't really want to crush those trees, so I will put it... You know what? That'll be okay. Get three harvesters, so we get... One wood from each harvester every 15 days, much like the water. So it's going to be six wood per month. So let's grab a road. Uh, I will not trash all of those trees <laughs> for no reason. So I'll just go around with the road. Okay. And then we're going to take our lumber to the hardware store, which is six per month. So we can do another six safely and be under the demand, which is 14 per month. So let's do that. We'll do one more lumber yard, which I'll put probably in line with it. But over here. Uh, I don't want to be too close to the town, though, like I keep saying. Let's do it over here. Um, that'll be okay. Do I want it right on the road? Not really. Um, that'll be okay. We'll put two back there and a yard here. I'm aware that I'm doing this in a very random way. But listen, I'm just trying to show you the game. Have a good time. We're not, obviously, if you're doing it, do try to be as efficient as possible because it's like part of the game. There we go. We did the destination. I think we're ready to unpause. So, hardware store is going to be supplied with lumber. Just lumber for now. We can do all these other things, but for the moment, just lumber. We are having wheat grown to feed the chickens and the chicken and eggs are going to the farmer's market. And then we're also growing other wheat plus some vegetables to go to the farmer's market. Now, we are vastly undersupplying some things, the chicken meat and the vegetables, for example. But let's just get started, shall we? Play. We're playing the game. Research will now begin on a daily thing. Once we go to the next day, I am on the slowest speed just for the moment. Okay, 59 days left. Good. That obviously is costing us um, 100k a month. But that's fine to research. We can turn that off if we're really struggling. So, for the moment, nothing is going to happen because, well, well, the lumber yards will be off. They'll be working. But the chickens, there's no wheat or water for them, even though they're out there alive. Probably not for long. And the crops can't be growing because there's no water for them at all. So we're waiting on the first delivery of water for everywhere to really kick off here. Hey, but the lumber yard doesn't need anything. So on day 15, we will just go up to times three. Um, you'll probably find lumber trucks emerging. You can see we're paying upkeep on our headquarters. That's where that money is coming up in the air. And as we approach day 15, 
And, and like the, that's the, that's the game in principle. It just works like this. You'll get upgrades, you get different roads, you get different systems, you get different products. But it's just like you just put together the supply chain of whatever it is, and uh, and then sell it. Okay, so we have water trucks coming out. We've got lumber trucks coming out. Trucks come from the pumps to the main siphon, and then separate trucks bring the water out. The lumber trucks are just going to drive straight to the hardware store. Production alert. I will get there in a second. And as you can see, that is being sold. And down here, you can see estimated sales to shops will start to slowly increase. If we click on the hardware store, you can see that it's got some... Well, we can't see the actual storage, but you see it says five stored, six stored. Because every 15 days, we bring six. They want seven every 15 days. So we're just slightly under supplying what they fully want. Um, but that will obviously sell and get us some money. Now, the production alerts are people crying because they don't have what they need. Which is we, which I just explained would happen. But some of the farms will now be growing. If we go to the overview tab, you can see the progression of each of your fields. So two of them got water. So And what you can see visually... We obviously got three water out of the first 15 days. One went here, two went here. And then 15 days later, the other two fields will, you know, will get set up. So there'll be a little period where it's a bit offset and you don't get the full, like the water that you require to grow everything, but it's still going to be, you know, it's still going to work out. You're getting 30 water per day, per day, month. Okay. So when this wheat does finally grow, we will have wheat here, and then we can start actually growing chickens. Because we have water. If I go to the storage tab, you can see we have the water ready because the water came in the first 15 days. But obviously we didn't have any wheat because we couldn't grow wheat because we didn't have water at the beginning. But hey, that's fine. So, now that we're supplying goods, and we'll put it up to times three again. Now that we are supplying goods, we can go on Deanwe, and you will see growing. And over time, the population will increase, new buildings will spring up, and the town will expand. And that is our kind of general goal for this series, which may be long, maybe short. We'll see. See how it goes. Just to grow this town. Like, that's that's the basic, basic thing we're going to do. These are the lines of the region, which probably skirt the coast a bit, so it's kind of hard to see. But um, So we can only build in this region. This is where we put our headquarters down. So we only really have access to like this coal and this iron plus natural resources or growing things uh, until we go to another region. The way we would pick up another region is, oh, you can see one of the AI players has set up some plantations growing cotton. Okay. Um, not there then because presumably that's already owned by another company. Portis head. Here we go. Region, you start an auction and you bid for the rights to that region. And then you can build there and supply there and so on. We've nearly finished gatherer storage research. Uh, and if we click at the top right, we can see our company. It's worth just talking about this while we're kind of chilling. We have stocks, which we don't really need to worry about it. You can see whether we're obviously losing money at the moment because we haven't really started supplying in anger. See what our top production is, top product sales. And we can look at the other companies and see the same thing. Now, crucially, later, we can buy stocks. And if we buy them fully, we get all their stuff. We can buy out the other companies. So if you wanted to play it in a competitive sense, that's what you're looking to do, buy out the other companies. However, for the moment, we're just trying to, we're just trying to get these lovely people some chicken. And veg. Chicken and veg. Right. R&D alert. We finished the plus 10 gatherer at storage, which isn't super important to us. But it was a step towards the extra coastal harvesters, which you now should understand means I can get two more water pumps on each water siphon, which means each water siphon can support more crop fields. You know? You feel me? So that's, that's, that's like where we're going with it. And then we'll research more crop fields. And so on. Now, once we've done that, I mean, I'm kind of focusing on that. If I'd wanted to, I could have diversified and said, okay, well, what else do 
Um, like, what, what else does the hardware store need? It needs rubber. Raw rubber. So I could have said, okay, let's grab... Uh, where the hell is rubber? <laughs> Good question. Let's grab rubber. Petrochemical? Yeah. Let's grab rubber. Like, instead of, instead of trying to expand what we currently have with these technologies, I could have just said, well, let's get all the technologies um, to supply all of these things. I want to kind of get get all of this up and running, supplying as much of this as we can first in the most efficient way possible in terms of how many fields we have and stuff. And then I will move into other products. That's my general plan. Rightly or wrongly, that's my general plan. But hey, what have we got coming here? We and there's the vegetables. You can see them in the back physically. So they're going to come to the farmer's market. Sell their stuff. And you can see our estimated sales to shops goes up in the corner there. Now, we're not going to earn a lot of money at the start, obviously, because we've had a very heavy financial outlay and we're not producing a lot of stuff. Is this the first chickens? And yeah, that's carrying the eggs. That's an egg van. That's an egg van. That's an egg van. Eggs, eggs. Oh, they're chicken. Chicken. Chicken meat. Woo, chicken. So they will come to the farmer's market. Now, another thing that's going to come up later, as you probably can see, we're going to have traffic problems as we get more and more products. The town gets bigger. Everything becomes more congested. That's where we have to look at other modes of transport or different road systems. We have one-way roads. We have trains, obviously, that we can do. In fact, there's a few modes of transport. If we go on advanced distribution, look, we've actually got zeppelins as well. Trains, zeppelins, and boats. So we will be expanding when it makes sense. When we have the money and when we have the research. Right. Somehow, it's been almost 40 minutes whilst I've ba barely done anything at all. So I'll probably wrap it up there. We've got the basic setup. As I say, those are the, really the fundamentals of the game. Oh, you can see they've added a building and a new section here. Are we still growing? We're now prospering, which is a step up from growing. Fantastic. As we supply more stuff, they will just love it and grow. And we just want to see if we can make, like, Deanwee the biggest town on the map. Instead of what I presume is Ashbourne. Okay, so as I was saying... That's really the fundamentals of the game. All, all of the all of the resources work in this way. Obviously, farms are very obvious. Orchards and plantations work in the same way with slightly different fields. And uh, when you go to factories, obviously, you know, you'll make a toy factory. And you'll check what you need to produce the toy that you've chosen. You know, if you're making dolls, then you're like, okay, well, I need stuffing. Uh, so I'll go and make stuffing. And that comes from cotton. And you go, oh, well, screw it. We're going to set up, you know, sheep or... Wait, no, sheep do wool. We're going to set up cotton fields. Sorry, plantations, I think cotton comes from. Uh, which is where? Good question. Well, this is a waste of time, isn't it, while I figure this out? There we go, cotton fields at the plantation. Fibers, heavy fabric, maybe you'll do clothes, etc. So, you know, once you understand the basics... It's very simple. And obviously, better roads will give us more speed. We'll need to sort out the traffic jams. And, you know, if we were playing super seriously, we'd want to be as efficient as possible with our money. Get all the natural resources possible in our in our area. Pick the best area at the beginning. Expand into other areas that make sense. And then eventually buy out the other companies. Right. That was a lot of talking. Hopefully, you understand what's going on. Hopefully, it's very interesting to you. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.